Many summer programs are up in the air right now because of COVID-19. Some have already canceled in-person events, but are trying to move to digital platforms. WCI3's Jen Lask is live in Urbana this morning. Jen, you actually have an example of this. Yeah, Aaron, so last year, Girls Rock performed a showcase here at Blackbird at the end of a music camp that was a week long. But this year, that's not going to be able to happen. And instead, organizers are asking parents for help. They announced last week that Girls Rock would not be able to happen in person, and they still hope the show will be able to go on. They've set up a survey asking how they can best create a virtual music boot camp. And kids like Essie, who performed last year, are still practicing and hoping for another chance to perform. I like that you can sometimes like play someone else's music and sometimes you can make up your own music that you want, like that you think sounds good. And then you can like show other people what you did. We liked about it that Essie really liked was sort of the creativity with other counselors and with other uh, camp members. Uh, so we're hoping, you know, like she said, there's some sort of Zoom meeting or some other ways that they can all kind of get together. Organizers are considering live one-on-one -on -one lessons online, recorded lessons, even a lunchtime live stream concert with local performers. And they hope that they'll be able to also do some sort of in-person program later in the year as well. Live in Urbana, Jen Lask, WCIA 3, your local news leader.